Good morning. I'm trying to find my comments window. It has disappeared. There we go. Oh, and my watch is telling me to breathe. All right, is anybody here? I kind of lost track of time. Can you tell? I look tired. I feel tired. It's May. It's bananas. Two people. Hello. Thought everybody had gotten sick of seeing me. <laughs> Good morning. Make sure that you accept Ecamm as your personal uh, assistant. We'll call it an assistant. Good morning. I can't see anybody's names. Ugh. I think it might be time to switch to StreamYard. I have, wow, sorry. Uh, my phone is making noise at me. I don't know how to turn that off. Good morning. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Kristen. I am looking up. Why is it that, like, it becomes 10 o'clock and my stomach starts to growl, like, on camera? Blurg. <laughs> That's how I feel about the entire month of May. Blurg. Good morning, D. I saw your email. I got to figure that out. <laughs> I had a little mishap last weekend. I'm going to announce this, actually, because it stinks. How many people are we, like, are people here? Not quite yet. Good morning. Upstate New York sounds kind of nice, honestly. I bet it's not hot there, but it might still be cold. I don't do cold. Hmm. Well. That doesn't help me. 10 a.m. is night. It's second breakfast time, right? You forgot it was Tuesday. I like how you wrote Tuesday, too. Like, it's sort of like Thursday. No, I can't see your name. I don't know who it is. I'm telling you. You know, Facebook changed, like, updates something, and then it's all bananas. Good morning. I see Laura and Jenny's name. Good morning. My neighbor and I were chatting, and I lost track of time. Um, yeah. Hot here in South Florida. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. Colleen, is that you that said they had a crazy busy week? Because you said this little's got sick tonight. Good morning. I love it. All right. All these people. Oh, Heidi. Heidi, I can't see your name. <laughs> I love the second breakfast. I think that's part of it is when my kids are like, when we're pushing them out the door at 630 in the morning, then, um, you know, somebody forgets their breakfast or I don't know. Hi, mama. Um, or they complain about what brand of toast we bought this week, whatever it is. And so I end up eating their breakfast, and then my belly's like, wait, that wasn't a full breakfast. What are you doing? Ugh. See, I want to live in Colorado. Find me a house. But I don't want rain and snow right now. Actually, if I lived in the mountains, I wouldn't mind. Hi, Yvonne. <laughs> I don't know where the link to Ecamm is. I only see one direction here. Oh, wait. See what I did there? I, like, instantly wanted to come up with a One Direction song, and all I came up with was the Jonas Brothers. I'm failing you this morning. <laughs> Good morning from Wisconsin. See, that's my favorite TV show. Hello, Wisconsin! <laughs> all right, so here's the mistake that I made. So Dee is a new family member, and she sent me an email this morning saying that the, um, the family coupon code wasn't working. Well, funny story. Um, a couple people got some free patterns last weekend because typically I hate my website. It's a complete money. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, it's a money suck. It's like the that Tom Hanks movie, The Money Pit. Anyway, I have to put in like everybody's email address that's part of the family into like restrictions and I got interrupted. I know exactly what happened. I'm not going to name any names, but it's one of five people <laughs> who is under the age of 12. Um, anyway, 
it's totally my fault. I got interrupted, walked away. It had saved. And so the coupon code for the family just randomly showed up in everybody's uh, cart for like at least maybe even 48 hours. So yeah, good times. Big thank you to Jacinda for pointing it out to me because she's like, yeah, it shows that like we had a live welcoming new family members and she's like, it's showing up in my cart. And I'm like, it should not be in your cart yet. I have not added the new family members to this. And yeah, sure enough, it was wrong. <laughs> so anyway, oh, my eyes, sorry. Oh, I like boy band songs. Come on now. If perfect's what you're looking for. <laughs> hmm. No, because the program I use is Ecamm. But Restream, I mean, Restream, it's like a multifaceted thing. Oh, no, not today. It should have, oh, I don't know. Whoever just bought Linda. If it's still, okay, it's still not showing up in your cart. Um, but you should have been able to use the code. Hmm, you're right, the link's not there. I wonder how I get the code. Or the link. Man, my brain. Ecamm link. Hmm. You know, it's always something. It's always something. Right? Facebook. Ecamm live. I don't know. It worked just the other day, but may but I was still using Ecamm. I just wasn't using Restream. Yeah, I, I got rid of it yesterday. Oh, Colleen. Okay. Well, that's next on my list. I mean, I'm right in my top three for the day. Go to today. What's the, today's the 11th. So coupon code is number one. Number two is fixing the brief on the kids' Bethany. I've already started. I'm up to size three, starting with baby sizes. That says something. That's what I've been working on this morning. So the kids' Bethany is the kids' version of this, which I'm pretty excited about. It has a brief. It's made from swim fabric. So funny story. Not really. It's funny to me. You don't need it until Friday. Okay. Um... You might notice that these look remarkably like Malia. They do. <laughs> when I was designing Malia, I was really torn on whether or not I wanted like board short slash stretch woven or swimsuit material. And I wanted both. And so am I so <laughs> I did I chose woven because I like wanted to wear them as daytime shorts too. I love like a for hiking and stuff like that. I love a lightweight woven that dries quickly for any kind of travel, really. And then I was like, what pattern should I do next? And all, like, I've got at least three kids who like swim shorts, especially if we're at the lake and we're doing water sports. And so um, I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. Sure, that would be great. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? <laughs> um. But yeah, so I got rid of the yoke that was in Malia because for swim fabric, you really don't need it. You've got negative ease there. And I did a kid's version. And my kids are super excited. Sydney specifically is like, Sydney and Revy are my two biggest. But um, we love swim shorts. It's just so easy. And they're not tight on their legs. Multiple lengths. I love it. See, I love that there are two shorts patterns too. I, you can't, It doesn't get old. And I think I have like... Four pairs of Malia right now. I had one that I was supposed to finish today. It's around here somewhere. Yesterday I was looking for something in my um, office, which is still a disaster from last week's live. And I got like all mad and came back to my desk and it was right behind my chair the whole time. Bah, working on your gro We We need to go to the grocery. That's why my kids are complaining about what brand of bread we have. They're spoiled. Thank you, Mary, for posting that. You know what, Cindy? Look at this. I'm going to share. Maybe. 
Oh, wait, let's see. Do, 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 do. This is a pattern that I like, or a shirt skirt I like on Title IX. Um, can you see? I don't, yeah, it has like panels, but it's, this is a stretch woven, but it has a button. Oh, interesting. I might have to look into that. But, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about that. I liked the look of this, so I was thinking about ordering it, and then I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll just make my own. <laughs> It is only, like, this is a knee link, though. No, I still can't see you, whoever just said that. So, yeah, I sent that to Laura this morning because I was like, isn't this cute? I have so many ideas in so little time, but it's so cute. And I want to do more wovens. I love it. I was, <laughs> Margie, see, I think we have similar styles. Um... I like that. I like it a lot. I like the the button zipper too, but I got to think about how to tie the shorts in with the button and zipper. My brain starts to hurt. Please make one, Shana. <laughs> Couldn't you do the shenanigans with that? I could, but the shenanigans is a knit and I want it for a woven. That's good. Oh, Deborah, I don't know. You know... I give up. Ecamm likes to take my money. It works sometimes. It worked. Just signed up. Try refreshing my video and pages. I can't see anybody's name. I can literally see Shauna. Oh, Shauna's on YouTube. That's why I can see her name. I can see all of the YouTube people. That just tells me that Facebook has, uh, it just updated again. It is what it is. How do I see? Maybe, um, here it is. Inviting group members to grant permission. Invite group members to grant their permission. Click the invite group members. Well, that didn't help me at all. So it shows me a window with comments and reactions. Hold on. And it has the link there. I don't have that link. <laughs> nice. All right, fine. I give up. Ow. Window. Blah. Sorry. Jumped out and came back in. I still can't see your name. I can't see your name. It it just it's um yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> I am. <laughs> now, to be honest, now I don't know who I'm talking to. Oh, Cindy. <laughs> I went over to Facebook for a hot second. I like to keep Facebook up for the people I can't see their names. Man, Stephanie, that is like a custom weight swim. Will it prevent them from bingy, clingy, when wet? No idea. What size length? I mean, what length are you making? I mean, swim fabric is like, it's swim. It's going to cling to your legs when it's wet. I like the one and a half inch. For swim shorts, because then it's not clinging. But if you're into the longer links, like, it's going to stick to your legs. But it's not going to be like sausage stuck to your legs. You, you feel me? I don't like the sausage stuck to my legs feeling when I'm wet. That sounded weird. Um, hmm. Yeah, Catherine, that's what I would hope it would do. But anyway. Hi! Good morning! So, you want to hear about my weekend? Because it's bananas. We thought last weekend was bananas. But no, this weekend, we have five lacrosse games in one day. On top of three, let me think, three um, Matilda shows and a soccer game on Friday night. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I'm working on, on the Bethany swim shorts. I'm really excited about them. I'm going to warn you now that unless... 
I am, um, you know, a pattern drafting God. I'm not. <laughs> uh, unless I get the brief for the kids, I actually forgot to include the height of the waistband when I was drafting it. I just didn't subtract it out. And now my brain is hurting a little bit. So they were like the, the brief was way too tall. Unless I get that right in like today, Tuesday, maybe tomorrow if, if I'm moving fast. Um, then, uh, it might be delayed a week. So I just want to warn people, sorry, I'm really excited about two. My hope is today I'm going to be live. I don't think I have anything else on my schedule for today, but I mean, other than like driving kids around, cause that's what I do. Oh, I have a one o'clock zoom. Hmm. Okay. Well, my hope is that I'll get it done, get it posted, make at least two, if not three for my own kids, because that covers three sizes right there. That will give me a very good like <laughs> place to start. And then I can adjust it super quickly because yeah, I, uh, yeah, good times, great oldies. But Kristen, don't be tired listening to my weekend because it's awesome. No, it's exhausting, but it is awesome too. Um, I am really enjoying coaching lacrosse. It's just so fast paced and I'm coaching with another dad who's fun and good to my kid. And it's just, yeah, I am. Sorry. Sorry. Heidi, geez. Heidi's all like, show me the pictures. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm trying to chat with my friends, man. Come on. Uh, let me find the pictures that pulled up, Heidi. So we have a new pattern today. It's the Linda. It's the Linda Peplman dress. It is for medium weight knit fabrics. True, Kristen. Just the kids. The adults is looking great. And I started it a week ago. So I gave them two weeks. It's just the kids that I, I didn't. Um, so it's a fully lined bodice with an invisible back zipper that can be omitted if you prefer that. The bodice has bust darts in sewing cup sizes AA through DD, which is sewing cup, not bra cup, which is like a whole separate thing, but the tutorial explains it. You just have to have a little bit of faith in us that we're not wrong. <laughs> waist starts on the front and back so you can get a smooth fit from the bust to the waist and it just makes it look so nice. And then this word that I can't pronounce, a bateau, Nick. Bateau. bateau. It's not like Miranda, bateau. <laughs> Anyways, it's super pretty. That's what that means. I think the bateau... Can we just call it a boat? A boat neck is very... Boat neck is like the the southern version of the bateau neck. Ba, bateau. Cracking the whip. She is. Yeah. Um, sleeve options include short, three-quarter, and long. Half or full circle skirt options. Peplum mini knee and T length for T and half circle only. And of course, there's optional pockets. So yeah. As always, we, and we've started doing this in most of our shorts slash pants and skirts and dresses patterns, we um, have pretty extensive fitting sections. So that's like becoming the norm, which is, you know, more work in the tutorial, which I don't love. But anyway, I digress. But it's super helpful. So just take the time to read through it and make a muslin and you'll be sewing darts like a breeze in no time. And you'll understand why why darts are so lovely. You feel me? All right, let's pull up some photos. Oh my gosh, I don't know my alphabet. I am. I'm not showing pictures right the second I, you're looking at my face. Man, who is grilling me? Mary. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, people. I was working on a pattern. That's why I'm not prepared. I'm frozen. Oh. Well, that's not on me. That's on Facebook. Here. We'll show Heidi first. Okay, I'm back. I'm back from outer space. <laughs> Hi, Tina. That's funny, Catherine. I love a good dart, but you definitely have to know where it should end. Like, you don't want it coming up over the front and, you know, covering, crossing. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. No worries. All right, let me... Boop, 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 boop. Oh, geez. I'm trying to get my background here. 
Rochelle does do cute pictures. I do not. If you want to know whose pattern it is, if you see a picture of Rochelle, that means it's probably her pattern. Although she does actually take pictures for me too from time to time. I do not like modeling. Although, if you get Sew Magazine, guess who's going to be a model in the June uh, magazine? It's like a seventh grade dream come true. I don't even know what to do about it. Um, the funniest thing is, is those are professional photos. So if you're here in the Atlanta area and you need a photographer, Freckled Flower Photography is my photographer of choice. Jen McCarran is awesome to work with and, you know, she has cute boys. So if you want to take pictures of boys, then it's even better. I just made them shirts and we all took pictures. <laughs> that was for the Mr. Domestic so long we did a while ago. Okay, Linda, here we go. So we have Heidi with her short sleeve version on. Super cute. Oh, thanks. I do too. It is so magazine. It's out of the UK. So it's only available like at Barnes and Noble here in my town. I don't know where else to find it. I'm, and Barnes and Noble has it like a month later. Um, I signed up for the, not membership, what do you call it? Subscription. And if it doesn't come in time, I'm going to be asking Amanda Carita, Car Carita, Carita, uh, from So So English to send me her copy. Because I got to see my name in print. Are you kidding? Actually, it won't, it won't even be my name. It'll just be my face. <laughs> That is really pretty, Heidi. I love the top fabric. Here's a long sleeve version. Here's one that really shows off that neckline super nicely. So pretty, and I love the contrast stitching. So pretty. I don't know this person's name. And polka dots. Who doesn't love polka dots? I feel like if you had a hat on, you could be Julia Roberts. You feel me? That would be awesome, right? Or um, is it Diane Lane in uh, that Tuscany movie? Is it polka dots or just white? I think it's just, oh, no, but the other girl. Anyways, I love the polka dots. Very cute. And then here's the lovely Rochelle actually, like, showing the full circle skirt. How beautiful is that? So pretty. So, Yeah. It's all about the neckline. It's the simple, sometimes, you remember when I was looking for a wedding dress eons ago, um, we were, my, mo my mom likes to shop and I don't, mom, don't throw me under the bus right now, okay? I don't like to shop. I, I, no. I don't even think I shopped for my own prom dresses. I think my sister and my mom just like, um, <laughs> look at those legs. Um, I think they picked them up for me. Anyway, that being said, I remember when we were looking at wedding dresses, the ones that weren't covered in beads, that she does have a crinoline on underneath that skirt. That makes it fun. And she did a horsehair braid hem, which I think she's going to write a little tutorial on how to do that for the family because it's super fun and I've never done one before. Yeah, we did. In my defense for prom, I had just had knee surgery like a month beforehand. And I still didn't want to go. I, you know, whatever. Um, but the ones that weren't covered in beads were actually more expensive because the fabric had to be super smooth looking. And, like, that's what I think of when I see Rochelle's turquoise dress there. Um, it's nice. I'm a fan. So, Linda will be on sale through next Sunday, which is the 16th. Yep. 16th. Um... And it's lovely. It's just nice. Right as we're like, you know, I don't think she made it, but she's not awake right this second for me to ask her. Ashley had a crinoline too, but what dress was that for? It was one of mine. Man, just buy the crinoline on Amazon. Oh, sorry. I said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to balance like is it worth dealing with tool or can I just buy it on Amazon? You know, uh, I'll ask her though. I feel like one of them made one. I have never made one. I don't wear dresses. Okay. I wear summer dresses that, that like cross over into the sports world. That's what I wear and skorts because that, uh, that skirt I just showed you would be awesome. They are so cheap on Amazon. See, you feel me? I'm supporting some business somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'll ask. That'd be fun. 
Who knows? Yes. What dress was it that Ashley did it for? I'm drawing a blank. It was super cute, though. Usually the 50s styles, uh, or the that style is more Rochelle, but it was definitely for me. I just can't remember what dress it was for. Anyway, move Oh, I'm supposed to list. Hold on. It's still a lot. It's just a lot to deal with. I did um, the soft tool for one of our Christmas or holiday dresses. <laughs> exactly, Allison. Um, oh, Charlotte. Yes, thank you, Lindsay. It was Charlotte, and that was just awesome, right? D, I think that's smart. That's where I'm going to be. Ooh, good point, Jenny. Well played. Hmm. I will ask. I'm curious now. But now I'm also curious about that Charlotte because it was just so perfect. <laughs> I almost wore my Charlotte today. I feel like Charlotte was like right in the middle of all the um, COVID mayhem with back to school and it just doesn't get the love it deserves. Oh, it's not in this file. Organza. Maybe. Not my, I don't like, none of my kids really wear dresses. Kathy, it is marked as a intermediate level. Um, oh, weird, Allison. I can see him on Facebook and in my little thing. Hi, Margaret. Um, it is marked as intermediate probably because of the darts, but honestly, like if you're going ho about it, man, do it. Don't be scared. Because you can do it without the zipper if the zipper is what scares you. But I can honestly say, like, our zipper instructions are money. And we make it as easy as possible. And really, like, you're going to grow the more you try. So that's my thing. And you can always ask for help. We're always happy to help. Hi, Debbie. So, Angela, I've seen some people use Trello boards. With their patterns with pictures though or maybe a pinterest board i don't use either i keep them in a file and i never look at them <laughs> i'm not the best person to ask oh charlotte is your go-to for a dress i love hearing that all right um bu -bu 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 -bu. i'm supposed to be naming a winner from last week sorry let me pull up laura's email because laura will get grumpy with me if i forget lasandria jones you're the winner from last week's tipsy tuesday so send an email to Laura, Laura at 5 out of 4com And um, everybody's packing. I want to move. Let's move to Colorado. We'll just all move to Colorado. Have a little commune. Oh, wow. Cindy, look at you. I don't even have a... Wow. All right. That is a great idea. Oh, see? Shauna organizes her patterns in Trello. She says it's really easy. Oh, a bingo winner. Thanks. Uh, Laura, are you watching? Can you go pick a bingo winner? You know what else we never did? <laughs> um, bingo, let's see. Only 13 entries. That... Actually, not even 13. There's like five. What the heck, man? I didn't even know there was a bingo. Oh, it was a good bingo, too. Oh, it was a delicate by Taylor Swift. But I enjoyed all, um, <coughs> I think it was Margie who said, I'm bringing sexy back by Justin Timberlake. And I about died because I love some Justin Timberlake. I didn't know I said. You missed bingo. I know. You're on vacation. All right. Uh, so there's only like five entries. Ah, I don't want to pick because uh, I've seen the names. Sorry. And bing bingo is hard to plan. Can I be honest? Because I'm like, I don't want to say it all. Can you pick a number between? Let me see how many entries there are. One... 
two, three, four, five, six. There's only seven entries. I can't even see your name on Facebook, so I don't know if I can answer, is my name in there? Pick four. <laughs> I'm going to, um, between one and seven. I'm having Laura just pick a number between one and seven. How about the fourth entry? <laughs> You've never listened to Taylor Swift. Now I want to go see who said that. I think it can be down. I look at it on my computer, so I think it's on anything. But I barely use Trello because I can't be trusted with anything organizational. It just, my brain likes the mess. People are picking, but Laura is not answering. Oh, Lord. All right, we're... <laughs> Give them all $10. But, Mom, the, the gift was like... It was a projector, which I got to figure out. It was the same... It was a projector. Give them all $10. I should give them all $10. Three. I love how they're picking numbers. Laura, I need you. How do I... If I call Laura on video call and just let it ring to get her attention. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. Okay, Trello is the bomb. Eh, well, there you go. All right, so we have Linda on sale. I'm going to wait until Laura. I'm not going to pick a winner because I've seen all the names. I need Laura to just tell me a number between one and seven. Or I can go over to that. All my people are West Coast except for me and Laura. And Laura's homeschooling her kids because she's a responsible adult. And I'm just kidding. I, I, I didn't mean to imply that I'm not a responsible adult because I don't homeschool, nor are you. But that's what she's doing right this second. <laughs> or recovering from her vacation. Oh, that's true. I can go to the random number generator. I shall do that. Random. All right. So if I share my screen here. Six. And that first one was there when I got there. All right. Six. Whoever number six is. Now I have to go over and count. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Lindsay, I should have had you do it. All right. Six. Let's go see who... I have to find the thread again. Oh, there it is. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six is Joyce Brown. Joyce Brown is our bingo winner. I'm going to write down your name, Joyce, because i got to make sure I get you a projector. And I will give everybody else who entered the bingo, I will get you a $15 gift certificate. Because you're awesome for playing. Holy crap, that means you watched a lot of me live and you need something. So you can use the $15 gift certificate on merchandise or a new pattern. Uh, I will tell Laura. I'm making a note. All right. Um, sorry I can't give away seven projectors. That's a lot of money. Um, yeah, that's fun. Congrats, Joyce Brown. What are the chances that I picked the one name in that list that I didn't recognize? Man. Oh, Vicki, you're so sweet. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so since you used the fabric, who said that? Um, I have so many windows up, and my brain is like all over. The yes, Leslie. I need you to remind me what we are giving away for the Wanda. I've been meaning to send you a text, and now you're live. Um, I need to pick a winner for that, too. So let me find that announcement, if it's still here. I might have... Let me remove the bingo announcement. We never picked a, a winner for the Wanda, right? Oh, that's Laura. Okay. My brain is just not comprehending what is happening. Where the heck is the Wanda giveaway? Here we go. 
<laughs> Let's see, we're right there together. I'm picking a winner, winner for the Wanda giveaway. It says I have 19 comments, so I will do the same random generator since I'm here. And it's number 16. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen is Lori Jessen. Oh, you made matching Wanda dresses for you and your granddaughter. So cute. I think it was a $20 gift card to Discovery Fabrics. So, Lori, I'm making a note to send you a PM. We just exchanged PM, so that will be easy. Um, send Leslie Haynes a PM. Woot. Leslie, I want to get you to come uh, talk to the family again about summer fabrics because I think all of our brains were, like, blown by all of the winter fabrics. I think it would be really, really amazing. All right, look at me, catching up with admin. I think like 60% of my time is spent on admin. All right, so we also have the uh, shenanigans sew along coming up. <laughs> See, that's what you get for cleaning, Kelsey. Oh, you have a question about fabric? Have Leslie back. Leslie, they all want you to come back. Um, let's see in the events because I don't want to say the wrong name. Time. Day. It's like I'm talking about my children. Monday, May 24th through May 30th. Aw, you'll be celebrating my anniversary by sewing up the shenanigans. I want to go to Singapore and Indonesia. Who's going to Singapore and Indonesia? That sounds awesome. I just want to go everywhere, though, I'll be honest. So you can sign up for the shenanigans score at Sew Along. In the five out of four events, it just you just hit the going thing, and it lets us know that you're going. Isn't that amazing how that works out? <laughs> um, it it is awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Deborah. Can I just hide in your luggage? Is that awkward? I'll be like, what about Bob? That's awkward. <laughs> and probably my most quoted like when anybody <laughs> that movie makes me laugh. It's so stupid. Can I still use it as a waistband for a yoga style waistband? If it has a recovery, I hear jersey and it just depends if it has a spandex for it. Yeah, as you said, it has a great stretch and recovery. Sounds good to me. You know, I will say that the more I learn about everything, not just sewing, everything. And the thing I'm trying to teach my kids, because there's so many of them, right? It's like my own little social experiment, is trying to get them to understand that just because they're doing it differently than how you would do it doesn't make it wrong. And I think, Margie, that's awesome. Um, I think that that's really important to remember because like even techniques wise, you have to learn techniques, but then you can um, like add your own flair to it and do some of it your own way and it doesn't make it wrong. And so we were talking about fitting and with the shorts, I really thought I had a pair here. Hold on. Hmm. That's funny. I have more than one pair of Malia's that's unfinished. Yes. Leslie, that's what I need. Am I... Did that just autofocus? That was amazing. Okay. So these are... It doesn't like me moving the fabric. That's interesting. Um, am I on my... Sorry, I'm going to see which camera I'm on. I think I'm on the right camera. Yeah. Oh, I just lost me. All right, so what... This is just a little quick quick and dirty tip. These are the Malia. If you make them without the waistband, okay, this especially works if your hips are bigger than your waist or they're the same. Make them without the waistband and then slip them on we're not going to be looking at my butt. Um, and then you can pinch out. Like if you have a lot of excess fabric, you can pinch out. And what you're going to end up doing 
I mean, grab a sheet of paper. Bye, Leslie. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for answering her, Kristen. But we do answer questions, D. Um, I'm drawing you a picture. That's what's taking me so long. Sorry. There's a bird, like, on my window. Okay. Very scientific drawing of the front of your pants, right? So you pinch out, and then you can see how much you pinched out. And when you go to make it again, that's very true, Kelsey. <laughs> Sounds like somebody who learned from experience. So pin them. Don't just pinch out. Pin them. But this is actually a stretch woven, too, so I have a little bit more give. But then you can put it on your... Is it focusing? Wow. Um, then you can draw it in on your pattern. Kelsey made a great point, though. Make sure you sit down and can still move around if you're doing just a woven. My point in saying this is, like, I'm trying to think of the right quickest wording, and my brain is foggy. Um, but, like, that's why I, I really recommend a muslin. And I will, I will baste and then make um, adjustments, except for sleet. Like, I know that armholes need to be a half an inch lower. That is just my personal body shape. It's like that on everything except for like the halftime hoodie, which has five inches of ease because it's a basic sweatshirt, right? If your hips are smaller than your waist, you still want to start with your full waist size and then you want to do a full belly adjustment. The only time I would suggest not uh, just grading is if it's just one size different difference and it's a stretch fabric. Then you might be able to get away with just grading to the next size up. That's one way of doing it, but doing the full belly adjustment, you can add a little bit extra and then you can pinch the same way, a full tummy adjustment, yeah. Um, what did I say? Did I say it wrong? Oh, Smith Mountain Lake. That's, oh, that's, uh, I gotta write that down and figure out where that is. Um, I want a lake house. My kids all know it too. They're so funny. Even Stella. When are we buying a lake house, mommy? When I retire and none of my kids are in school, so I don't have to worry about public schools. So yeah, that's how I attack my shorts specifically. Oh, funny. <laughs> um, but so that's why, like, they'll sit like this and then I'll try them on. And you, you just want to go in small increments. You don't want to, like, do three inches or anything. Like, small increments matter. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Otherwise, if you just grade from like a medium hip to an extra large waist, say, right? What's going to end up happening is you're going to get horizontal stretch marks um, on your fabric, especially a woven. It's going to try and pull and it's just, it's not going to lay as nicely as a full tummy adjustment. Oh, thanks. This is my Donna. Hot Donna. Um, and it's made from like a really lightweight French terry. So it's really year round. A great place to live. Babe, do you hear that? We're moving to Smith Mountain Lake. It's a great place to live. <laughs> he just, he'll just laugh at me. That's what he does. Very supportive, my husband, but also knows I, I like change a little too much. So if you measure the pattern pieces, you're going to measure the waist. It's mirrored, so the waist. And you can compare it to your own waist, and you can divide it by four for just like this one piece. Um, if your front waist is not equal to your back waist, you would add a little bit more in the front. But it's sort of trial and error. I mean, you're going to look at the measurement chart and the pattern pieces themselves, if it's knit or woven. Like, <laughs> the full tummy sew along. We have a video for a full tummy sew along. It's actually kind of funny to watch. If you want to see, and hopefully she's not mad at me. I don't want to be in a, I don't want to be in a fight. Who just said that? That was hilarious. Um, if you watch the full tummy sew along, no, not sew along, sewing school video, it's Laura and it's for, it's before she started working for me. 
it's um the <laughs> the board shorts and she shoots it like in the dark <laughs> with her cell phone and it's a true testament of just how much Laura has grown in the past five years um it's amazing I I was watching it when we were doing the Malia shorts and I was like huh wow all right, so we can encourage Laura to do another one, but I'm not taking that one down because 10 years from now, we're still going to laugh about it. I feel like there are 6,000 things I'm forgetting to tell you about. How's that? I told you about Bethany, told you about Linda, picked all my winners, right? Family opened. I'm still asleep. Summer is coming. I love Laura too. Laura has been a complete blessing for me. She tested, gosh, she did not test the knot, but she did test the versatility, which was my second pattern. And, and then my third pattern, I think, was the agility. And man, she went to work. She went to work on that pattern. And uh, yeah, she's put up with me ever since. It's kind of amazing. I haven't run her off yet or overworked her. Ah, she's good. She's not a yes man, so she keeps me in line. It's good. All right. Well, that is all I have for you this morning, folks. I'm going to get back to work on the Bethany, and then I'm going to get sewing. Um, I have lots of ideas for this summer and just not enough time. I thought I would be really smart to put my kids in tons of summer camps, uh, but then I realized I had to actually drive them to the summer camps, and that's going to take up a chunk of my time every day, and there's just not enough right? There's not enough. All right, go check out the Linda before the sale ends. And um, yeah, thanks for being here. Have a great week. I need to look. Aw, that's awesome, Jesse. Mwah. All right, remember, never stop sewing, never stop growing. Don't be scared of the Linda. Go give it a try. We are here to help. All right, bye.